everyone again, it is TJ123 here, bringing you another MOAB gameplay slash commentary. Here I am on the map underground using the MP7, and uh, this was part of a uh, full party, so hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I'd like to just follow up on my last commentary I did. It was about if Assassin was overpowered, and if it was better than Ghost, and if it does too much for one perk, and my opinions and thoughts on that and if you guys missed that video I'll link that somewhere probably up in the top right hand corner but anyways today's topic I want to talk about um, my thoughts on what Black Ops 2 should have but first I want to talk about what I found Black Ops um, the game as itself did right in its whole life cycle um, a really big thing that I found Black Ops that did right that I want to see in um, Black Ops 2 or whatever the next Call of Duty release title is going to be, but for now we're just going to call it Black Ops 2. Um, what I really found, they did really good in Black Ops. I think they really, really paid attention to like patch support now. Um, I found Modern Warfare 3 kind of did that a little bit at first, but they kind of started going downhill and like it just wasn't as supportive as Black Ops was, I found, with their game. Like, especially gun balance. Um, that's a really big thing I find because Modern Warfare 3, the guns still aren't really perfectly balanced. In Black Ops, yeah, sure, the FAMAS was still by far the best weapon or pretty much the most popular weapon in any Call of Duty for that fact, but it was really toned down quite a bit. Like, if you look at the FAMAS um, pre patch and post patch, it, there's a huge difference. So I think they did a really good job at nerfing that they still made it a complete like a completely usable and reliable assault rifle but it just wasn't as good as that, it was um, so i mean they the didn't completely destroy the it. game like um and the first month another so. gun that they did that really if you well put, with um, was the um, lord on and ak-74 you put a grip and rapid fire on that thing that thing would destroy you from across map is that and the famas that were just completely like destroying like everything but they heard the cry of the community and they work their best to patch it and like make sure that it was mo a more balanced game. I mean, I'm sure there's still good assault rifles like the Glail was still a pretty good reasonable choice for an assault rifle. It wasn't as good as a FAMAS, but it was it was another like good assault rifle choice and um, even the AK-47 wasn't that bad at all. So I mean, you c there's a lot of different varieties in their weapons and they kind of if they find they made something too powerful, they're gonna fix it if the community wants it. That's what I think they really did right for um, patch support, and that's what I really want to see in Black Ops 2 if they find a weapon is too overpowered compared to the rest of them. That kind of completely declasses everything else in its uh, class, then they're gonna fix it, and I really hope to see that. So that's some um, patch support that I want to see for Black Ops 2. The next thing I want to see kind of carried over from Black Ops to Black Ops 2 is the whole killstreak system. I find they did a pretty decent job with the whole killstreak system, making them not stackable. But um, kind of including even Modern Warfare 3 in this, I think they should add um, to every class uh, to design your own killstreak. I don't really think they need to add support. Um, Specialist would be a really good idea, I think, for Black Ops. I think that would be really popular having all the perks but just have something like that like they did in Black Ops like um just the whole kill streaks I mean Modern Warfare 3 yeah they're I don't know I don't really run that many kill streaks in Modern Warfare 3 so I, I just normally run specialists so I find that they run put in specialists for Black Ops 2 I think that'd be really popular and the community would really really enjoy that and there's another big topic of the whole nuke sort of MOB or MOAB sort of talk that there may be in Black Ops 2 but maybe not. Um, I don't think they should put in a big kill streak like that. They've never done that for any Treyarch production. I don't really think that would be really necessary. I think that's just more an Infinity Ward thing because I don't know. I find they would just be trying to copy what Modern Warfare 3 did because it's it is pretty popular and that's what a lot of people like to watch and that's pretty much why I play this game right now because <laughs> I don't have to rank up or anything. So I just feel that if they put that in Black Ops 2 it would be kind of taken away from that whole Treyarch feeling that you're playing in like a Treyarch production not a 
Infinity Ward production, so I don't think they should put in a big kill streak like that. I think it's fine just the way it is, like the highest being. I mean, you could probably add a couple different things, like a couple different like helicopter kill streaks or something like that. Like, sure, you got the chopper gunner, but maybe make a couple more kill streaks a little bit higher than uh, what was it, eleven? Like your hind or your um attack dogs, maybe something a little higher. But I don't think anything more than. 13 I think that would probably be good maybe 15 but anything over that I don't think they should have for a track production so that's kind of the whole kill streak sort of thing um I like the whole attack dog thing uh, I think that's a pretty good kill streak um the uh, SR71 was really popular and yeah I think that'd be really good um let's talk about the whole perk setup and the perks and black ops too that I think they should have. The perks and black ops were pretty good. Um maybe add a few more, kinda like um Mono for they added a couple new ones that wasn't really introduced before, but kinda have the old way of like say sleight of hand, like aim down sights faster at sleight of hand pro and I think should they should keep that. But the big thing is um Oh, another thing, they're, I know they're for sure going to be balancing ghosts. There's no way that from all the people they hear talking about the ghosts that they're going to just keep it the same as Black Ops. There's no way. They'd probably sell a lot less copies if people found out that they're going to be doing the exact same thing that they did in Black Ops. And that'd be really bad for them. That's what they don't want. So they're probably going to find some way of balancing ghosts. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to do that. If they're going to split up into two perks or make it less overpowered and make people use it less like put it in like a an awkward tier slot where it makes them give up something really really important but again if they have specialists there's no point of that but um yeah so ghost is going to be balanced and a big thing is just make sure that one singular perk this is again coming from kind of like my last commentary make sure that one singular perk always has a counteract to it so say the most um, common example would be Ghost, but the counteract to that would be a Blackbird because you can still see it in Monomer for 3. They don't have that, so that's why I think Assassin is overpowered. And I don't want to see that for Black Ops 2. Any perk completely dominating over the rest of the choices because that'd be overused and the community would get really, really tired of that really fast. And I don't think that's what they want. And this is kind of on the whole topic of perks. I think they should maybe add something like the whole proficiency idea that they put in um, Mono for 3 but still have the attachments like um, say for example the dual mag attachment that was really popular because you get that second reload um, equal to sleight of hand so just keep the attachments and um, the customization of attachments was really good from Black Ops I think they should definitely keep that and um, kinda going off from the perks, um, the whole emblem idea from Black Ops, I think that was really well done because you can design your own and it's not like um, Infinity Ward where you just have to choose your title and emblem, but in um, Black Ops it's really popular to make your own, I mean, if they could add like a few more things, maybe like, maybe that and a title maybe, I think that'd be really cool. Um, that's about it for the emblem now. Let's get on the whole Call of Duty Elite. I think they should have the whole Call of Duty Elite for Black Ops 2. I think that's that may help newer players. I mean, I think they tried to have... Like, maybe they, by the time Black Ops 2 comes out, they're going to fix everything that's wrong with Call of Duty Elite. So just have, like, the whole gun stats and the heat maps of your recent games and, like, most action and stuff like that. But a huge thing that I want to see from Black Ops 2 is the whole... Um, DLC release is the same as it was in Black Ops, so take DLC releases and DLC map packs out of Call of Duty Elite so they don't have that huge discussion and huge argument about being unfair for the people paying and not paying for Call of Duty Elite Premium and um, what console you're on because I don't think they did a really good job on that for Infinity Awards part, so I want to see what they had in Black Ops. Um, the whole four and one zombies map. 
And um, the next topic I want to see for Black Ops 2 is the whole um, zombies. As you know, it's really popular. And I think what they should do for Black Ops 2 is instead of having the regular zombies, you just go on a map and just you keep on buying new maps for it and you have to play the same thing over and over again. I think a campaign idea would be really good for zombies. If they did something like that, uh, I think that'd be really popular. You do um, each mission, you go to a different place, and then there's a whole story in it. I think that'd be really popular if they did that. Um, yeah, that's about it for what I want to see for Black Ops 2, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see for Black Ops 2. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more Moab gameplay, and have a good day. Bye.